What's going on everyone, it's Rifle here, and I am back with another Destiny 2 video. Thanks for checking this one out. As you guys saw in the title, it only took a hundred bucks, only, keyword, only, <laughs> to get all three full sets of the donning gear. Check this out. The donning event hasn't been out that long, and believe it or not, this guy actually got all of the gear for all of his characters within like 15 minutes after it was released. It's pretty insane. But yeah, as you guys can see, Here's the Hunter, decked out in all of the donning gear. Here's the Titan, decked out in all of the donning gear. Once again, same gamer tag. And here is the Warlock, decked out once again in all of the donning gear. So pretty interesting to say at least. I got a lot of hate yesterday for the video that I made about, you know, complaining that I think that the donning event will involve Eververse a lot and pretty much everything that it will come with will be just cosmetics. It's kind of like a huge Black Friday sale going on right now. And as you guys just saw, this guy got all of the gear with a hundred bucks. I don't get why a lot of you got upset with me about complaining that I didn't want, you know, a lot of the donning event gear to be unlocked by Eververse. But as you guys can see, someone already unlocked it within the first hour. He actually unlocked it within the first 15 minutes, to be honest with you. As soon as he got on, he just went straight to the tower and started purchasing silver. And bada bing, bada boom, he ended up getting all the donning gear. Of course, you can still get this gear by playing, you know, the donning event regularly. It's just going to take you way, way more time. But hey, I mean, if you had the time to grind in Destiny 2 and feel like playing it that long to get the gear, then why not? You know, what's stopping you? Honestly, though, I know this is a little too late for me to say this, but I wish a lot of things weren't being put behind Eververse where we could spend real life money to get a lot of these cosmetics that Bungie keeps releasing. I wish they would actually release unique exotic weapons and armor, such as, you know, back in Destiny 1 when the donning event came around, they made the icebreaker come back into the game and they gave it a whole brand new skin as well. Sure, that may have been a return of a weapon, but still the icebreaker was just freaking amazing. It'd been incredible if they would have added the icebreaker once again in Destiny 2 within the donning just to bring back some old times. Also not to mention Sparrow Racing League as well. They came out with that back in the donning event in Destiny 1. It'd been cool to see that return too. But nah, I mean, I'm not trying to whine here, guys, once again. I'm just throwing out my two cents of what I think is wrong about this event. I don't know. Are you guys having fun? Honestly, let's go ahead and take a tour with what all we can do now within this event. I'm not going to show you exactly everything, but I'm going to show you some new things that came with this dining event to keep us more engaged. Oh, what the? Someone sent me with a snowball. So as you can see, I'm here at the farm, and I know I've already been showing you me throwing snowballs so you know that feature is officially in destiny 2 with this donning event i like it not gonna lie but let's see what's all new at the farm first let me go back here where the soccer ball used to be oh nice we got snow forts going on back here what the i'm gonna go ahead and pick up this snowball and dodge it oh wow i missed i missed really this is pretty cool. I like how everyone's interactive around this area right now. Go ahead and get another one. Yeah! Did I get someone? No, I didn't. Alright, I'm coming in. I'm bombarding your base. What you gonna do? Sneak attack! Yeah, two for one. Okay. I'm bored with that. Let's see what else is going on around here. Little snow patches here and there around. Cool. I don't know if the AIs here are dressed differently since it's winter. Looks like this chick is dressed nice and warm. I don't know if she's typically dressed like that. They could have changed up some of the AIs to give it more of a winter feel. Anyways, let's see what's on top of the roof. Anything? Hmm. I'm not going to spend too much time here because I also want to see what's all being sold from Eververse uh, on day one. I mean, I already know what's being sold, but I want to show you guys just in case you haven't seen. Let me go ahead and make my way up here, though, see if anything's new up here. I haven't really checked out the farm all that much. Okay. Nothing really new around here. 
How about up here? Alright. Surprised they didn't put up some Christmas lights around on these uh, houses and whatnot. That would look nice. Give it more of a touch of the festive vibe, you know? Yeah, I don't really see much new besides the snowball fights where the soccer ball used to be. That's pretty cool, I guess. And also the snowfall, of course. Looks amazing when it's nighttime. Anyways, let's head to the tower now. Okay, so here we are at the tower. I've already been here and looked around a little bit. As you can see, they have snow patches all around. In the tower, we got the banners up above, the banners down below. It looks really nice, I'm not gonna lie. The tower, they did a really good job with. They outdid themselves with this, I have to say. Also, there's snowballs everywhere around here, as you can see. That guy back there is throwing them. Ooh. That's a lantern, by the way. I'll go ahead and show you where one of them is. They're all over, by the way. One of them should be up. Oh, someone took it. Oh, there's one. Gonna give me that lantern. Yeah. Bam. Let's see. Can't jump with it, though. I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do with those. I guess just release them like that. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, guys, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're giving me the effect what called chill to the bone. Done? Let's go ahead and check out Eververse, though. See what's being sold here on the first day of the dining event. We got Winter Heart Robes for the Warlock. Here's the Sparrow Holiday Cheer. It's pretty cool that they have these as a selection where you don't have to gamble as much. Which, by the way, they're going to pretty much sell everything that you can get in the dining event down here. So you don't have to gamble as much. Which, I appreciate Bungie for doing that. Still, it kind of sucks, once again, that half of the things... Actually, pretty much everything that came within the dining event, you can get from Eververse. It's all cosmetics. Nothing really, like, new and solid that we can unlock in the game. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can still unlock these in the game. Like, you know, some of the stuff from getting gifts, which you get the gift schematic from Ikora. I'll go ahead and explain that in a little bit after I show you guys what's being sold from Tess at the moment. Here's the ghost shell. This looks really nice, not gonna lie. Still, once again, it is a cosmetic. Here's a new emote. And a whoop, whoa, oh, I got it. I, oh, yeah. As you can see, he slips and falls. Silver dotting lanterns, modifications for your ship's transmat systems so you'll arrive in style. And also, winter shaders pack. Pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that's what's being sold from Eververse. And also, you got the dotting engrams if you want to do a gamble. And lastly, Star of Dark Knights Bundle. 1500 silver, though, to get this. A limited time bundle for guardians who watch for the rising sun. Contains the exclusive Star of Dark Knights Sparrow, Donnie Engrams, Bright Dust, and a stack of dining themed shaders. Huh. Okay. Thanks for shopping at so, yeah, that's what's being sold from Eververse. And I have to say, you know, the guy that just spent 100 bucks to get everything that came within the dining event. Imagine how many other players are spending that kind of money to get everything that comes within this event. Golly, the developers are banking from microtransactions. I mean, think about that. $100 is $40 more than what we spent for this actual game to even play it. Um, anyways, I'm going to go over here to Ikora now because over here it looks amazing, especially at night. Oh my gosh. I mean, as you guys saw, Bungie posted that picture of what this place looks like at night. It looks phenomenal. Once again, Bungie really outdid theirself with the way it looks around in the tower, at least. Not anywhere else, sadly. But still. You can also get a gift schematic each day. I already got mine. But you go up to these packages right here and get it. I'll show you. See, as you can see. Donnie's gift schematic. Amanda Holiday. Life in the hangar can get a bit messy, and Amanda doesn't often take breaks to deal with it. Complete the following objectives. And I've already defeated the enemies on Nessus, which I had to defeat 50 of them. Now I have to collect 10 Dusk Lights on the EDC. So yeah, now let me go ahead and uh, cut this running part. I'm going to go over to the hangar 
and show you guys what's new over there. <laughs> you guys are gonna like this, it's freaking awesome. Probably one of the best things they added within this dining event. All right, so I'm getting close. At the moment, as you can see, I'm stuck in a loading screen. There we go. All right. Now, don't get me wrong when I said that. <laughs> I'm not saying it is the best thing they added in the dining event, but it's probably one of the most unique besides like the cosmetics they added and the new armor and whatnot. This giant hockey ring for all you hockey fans out there. I'm gonna get a go. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, yeah, go, yeah, all right, yeah. See, and the hockey puck comes down pretty cool. It's giant as well. I'm guessing while you're playing this with other people, you can like bomb them with snowballs and whatnot. Let's see what happens when I bomb that with, oh, ooh, wait a minute. Long distance goal. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Would you stop? Stop. Okay, it's not going to stop. Oh, yeah. Too bad there's no one over here. Everyone was over at the farm playing in those snow forts. Why is no one over here playing with this gigantic hockey puck they added in? Look at this. We got a freaking hockey ring here now. I'm out of here though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. I just wanted to give you guys a tour and also, not to mention, show you guys how that person spent 100 bucks to get pretty much everything in the dining event. Like I was saying in my previous video, this is what I was afraid of. Everything they added with this dining event would be cosmetics and they would be behind Eververse. I mean, don't get me wrong, Eververse isn't the only way to unlock them, but still. Okay, so yeah, that's wrapping up this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Peace.